Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are doing something really unique, really artistic, and really exciting. So if you like this video, or if you've never seen this done before, which I bet you 99% of you have not, click that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. All right, today we are heat bending composite rail kits for our custom curved staircase that we built on our current deck project. And to do that, you need some specialty equipment. So I'm gonna do a rundown of the equipment, the jig, the form, and then we're actually gonna start bending some parts for you. So let's just start with an oven. You gotta have an oven to heat up your product. I use only one type of rail kit to bend, that's TimberTech, the Radiance Rail. I've, I've figured it out, I've mastered it, I've done it several times. I haven't done it in a minute. I don't think I've shown it on camera before, so this ought to be interesting. There's a set of HeatCon heating blankets on the inside of this oven. I built the oven to accommodate the length of the heating blankets, which are around 10 feet. So this, this oven is nearly 12 feet long with the box controller, box holder, and the fan. I have improved upon the design of this box by adding a convection fan in it. So it blows the air around just like a convection oven does to help give a more equal heat to the parts that are inside the oven. Right now I have two complete rail kits inside this box. They've been heating for an hour and 20 minutes, so they're ready to come out. At least some of them are, I know for sure, but I have a pretty good feeling that everything inside this box is ready to go. So over here we have the control unit. It has a one heat con box. There's a top blanket and a bottom blanket that are running heat inside of this. I'm trying to keep this box around 240 degrees or so. It just depends. It's kind of variable. Every time I lift the lid to check parts, I lose all the heat. I gotta drop it back down, keep everything going. So I know that some of the parts are ready to go. There's four components to one rail section. So we gotta bend the internal components first and then we'll bend the external ones after that. So let's just get some gloves on and let's get that first one bent and I'll show you guys how it's done. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna bend is the bottom support rail and the top support rail that go on the inside of the rail components. So I'm just gonna open up the oven. I'm gonna grab one of those. It's gonna be real flimsy and flexible because it's been heating up for an hour and a half. And then I'm gonna set it to this jig. This jig table I built out of parts I got from Rockler and some plywood. So I can have a multiple adjustable, I can make any shape I want on this table. So we brought all this, it's very heavy, but I brought it out to the job site so I could double check all my curves, all the bends, make sure there's no twist in the staircase that I have to like put a special skew in these or something like that. So everything looks good. And so we're gonna go ahead and get one done right now. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's pretty warm. So all I'm gonna do is put my first piece in like that. Now watch how this bends around. I'm just gonna take it. And I know this doesn't seem like a lot of, of radius, but this is what we need for this particular side of the staircase. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that it's nice and tight. I'm gonna bring a couple other sliding clamps over and I'm just gonna make sure this fits really nice. And then I'll just, if I need to, I don't, I don't necessarily need to put this on right in it, right here, but I'm going to just go ahead and do it because I don't want it to move. I want it to cool at this particular shape. There you go. So while that cools, I happen to have another one that's pre-made. Okay. I'm going to bring this over here and show you guys how, how it looks against a staircase. So what I did, I took a piece of Ram board and I drew a line on the outside radius. Then I deducted the distance that I know that this piece needs to be installed in between these posts. So that's the radius that we have on this particular part. I don't know exactly what that radius is per, as far as foot or, or inches or anything like that. All I know is that once it's installed inside of these posts, it's gonna have an exact match to the radius minus the four inches that I had to move it in from the outside of the staircase, okay? So you can see right here, this sits pretty flat. There's just a tiny little bit of wobble, but we can compensate for that when we cut this in and install it. So no harm, no foul there. So this piece is done, it's cooled and it's ready to go. And now the second piece is made as well. So once those are done, 
Now we're gonna take the bottom rail and we're gonna mate it to the bottom support rail. And then we're gonna take the top rail and mate it to the top support rail. And then those stay matched for the rest of eternity. Uh, once you bend something and then you put something else to it, you don't wanna inter try to interchange the parts. You might be able to, you probably could, but it's better if they fit together and stay that way. So that's what we're gonna do next. We have two top and bottom support rails done. Once those are nice and cool, then we'll go ahead and get the bottom rail to this and we'll leave those together, set it to the side, and then the tricky one's a top rail. Let's wait a few more minutes and we'll get up on that. Now that our bottom rail and top rail support rails are cool, I'm gonna grab the bottom rail of this Radiance Rail Kit. I'm gonna slip it over the top of this. I'm gonna have a protective piece of PVC so I don't damage it up against these parts. And I'm gonna start working this thing to get it to that radius. All right, here we go. Yeah, they're getting nice and toasty. Okay, so if you're not careful, you can really run these out of whack. And I'm gonna go ahead and run a protective piece on this side as well. That makes sure that this baby doesn't get damaged. And it's gonna help keep it nice and equal. I, I have a little bit extra time. It's not like bending PVC decking. I have a little bit of extra time if I wanted to, I could take a clamp and lightly, depending on how much of this piece you're gonna need, I'm only using about six to seven feet of any particular uh, given rail kit. I don't necessarily need every single inch of these, but I do like to make sure that my ends are flat because that's usually where things will lift. And again, not a ton of pressure. Now I can do this on a five foot radius as well. This is more like a 20 some foot radius probably, or maybe, yeah, about 20, 20, 22 feet. But it's sitting nice, I like it, it's matched up. I don't, I don't even have to put all these in if I don't want to, I can, but I don't have to. And then I'm just gonna take, this is just water. I'm just gonna take some water, and now all I'm doing is cooling this down so I can get my next part ready to go. I don't wanna leave these parts too long in the oven. If I do, they could start blistering. And that's bad news when you're spending, you know, a couple hundred bucks a kit to buy these and then you're spending the time to manipulate them. You really don't want to have too many accidents. Those get expensive. Okay, I'm just, usually I would run some compressed air through here. I don't have an air compressor set up today. So I'm just spraying some water and I might use a blower, a garden blower, but just for the fact of making a mess on camera, blowing dust in the camera and on Studio Man and all that. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to let this cool naturally. It's still... It's still fairly warm, still fairly warm, but it's cooling down. Yeah, I, I can feel the heat still in this right now, but this is what you want. This is a really nice bottom rail assembly, totally bent, totally on point. So now once this cools, we'll do the top cap and then it's just over and over and over. We just keep repeating ourselves with it, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so now we have the bottom support rail mated to the bottom rail of the curved staircase rail done. Now I have the top support rail ready to go. I just gotta grab a top cap and we'll bend that into this shape. And then that's one complete set of rails that will be done. And then I just have to repeat that two more times and then do the interior, which is a completely different radius. You gotta set up a whole new jig and we'll get to that uh, a little bit later. So I just wanted to show you guys how we're doing this and how I get this done. Even though this is a mild bend, it has to be done this way. You can't just bend this stuff magically. You have to manipulate it. All right, let's get that last top rail. Okay, so this stuff is heating up phenomenally. There's no phenomenally, there's no blisters. It's bending the way it should. I did have to crank the heat a little bit on the blankets and I use HeatCon silicone heating blankets, their heat forming kit exclusively when I'm doing this. Now here's the thing, this top rail, if I put too much pressure on this, I can deform it. So the whole idea here is just to hold it down to the table and then leave it alone. As it cools, this clamp might become loose, but I just want it to stay flat. 
So I'm gonna do that on each end. I might bring this in a little bit more. If I'm off a 16th or an eighth inch on a curve, nobody, I mean nobody's gonna know the difference. All right, there we go. We'll spray that down, let it cool off. We got our next set ready to go already. Give her some waddy. Again, compressed air works really cool. If I had the funds, I would do an air-cooled table like a hockey table, like an air hockey, where it blew cool air up into the parts. It would ice them out a lot quicker and it would decrease my cooling time. But compressed air works pretty good in water. Like I'll just blow compressed air through here and in, in three minutes, it'll be ready to rock. Boom. There you go, guys. Stay tuned for subsequent videos on how we're gonna install these railings on these posts. We have post sleeves. It's gonna match the upper deck, but it's a lot trickier than just a standard straight rail. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today about how we heat manipulate composite rail kits for our decks, for curved staircases. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Leave a comment below. Leave two comments below. And have your, all your friends and family subscribe to our channel as well. We thank you so much for coming. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Was that over, anime?